Hi, hi everyone. So today we'll try to you know, do this name credentials profile. So this one I was doing for my side, for my certification. So I was not able to find any help. So I thought I will just add. Uh, I'll just try and do it, and uh, and put it a video. So it will be helpful for others also. But but I would suggest first try by yourself and uh, wherever you get stuck you can uh, refer the video uh, you first need to you know go through uh, the, the requirements the prerequisites which you need to you know have uh, before moving for this particular badge and there's a couple of settings you need to do but if you just go through uh, this guidelines you should be able to uh, you know do that so if you see here first First, I would I would say first you you know do this uh, register for the developer edition special configuration you need to have. So if you see here integration security specialist super badge you have to complete, uh, which gives a certain you know uh, specific settings. Um, uh, it creates an org with a certain uh, settings which which is which is required to you know proceed on this particular badge. Uh, if you don't do it, you won't be able to, you know, proceed on, on, on completing your batch. So I'll just fill a form. Uh, once you fill a form and give your unique news, username or some uh, username, you should be able to receive an email. But uh, sometimes it takes like thirty minutes or one hour. More than that, or maybe you will feel lucky. You'll get in five minutes. But if you, yeah, if you register, you should be able to get an email, and then you know you need to set up your uh, account by clicking in this url copy this username and i think if you are aware uh, you should be you know understand how to set up an org and once you reset the password you need to you know uh, uh, you need to come here and do a connect org and fill up the username and you know username and password what you have set it from there so i i i am assuming you you know uh, what needs to be done and you know you need to follow the steps and then you see here uh, there is a portal link has been given for uh, any point exchange portal where you need to go and you know fill a form and you know log in it and once you have done you have to go in this integration security and uh, once you you have access to simple simple form and simple access login into that instance uh, and uh, so you should be able to see a one option of uh, if you go in home request access give uh, you have to select since one option only there since I will have two application but you can go with the new create application option give a name here XYZ or anything you want uh, you can give that and once you have uh, selected this name credential so you would see request exists will will give you the you know so for me it says it's already exists so i will have my own credential i will not share here but if you simply fill the form and you will see the credentials coming up here it's a super badge no need to give anything just create and select here request access so anyway i'll delete this uh, i should not use this one so okay fine so this is a simple request stream so you need to do that and uh, yeah these are the everything is 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 given given here and uh, so the first first thing what you need to do here is you need to create an external credential uh if i just quickly you know jump to my uh, uh org and if i just quickly open uh, external name credentials so it's pretty simple uh, not external sorry name credentials name credentials it's pretty simple open a tab and if you see i have already created one external credential name you have to give research and epi name has to be same uh, parameters here to give for uh, info collection and if I, you give if you see i have given the client interest client secret and uh, client id here uh, which you you know need to copy from the this portal which i've just shown a while back 
so if you have that you just need to fill it here and once you're done you need to create a custom headers so this is the format i think you can just refer this one uh, once done you need to then move ahead for creating a permission set permission set you need to create for uh, name of external mule soft i think external mule soft and make sure you given uh, object permissions of uh, external credentials here uh, external credential yeah user external credential read write create should be there uh, now let's move on next step so after that you need to uh, create a public group public group has to be name of research guideline everything is given here if you just you know follow this one so research guidelines you need to create and uh, sorry uh, so once you do you need to assign that external mules of what we created earlier here in this group and yeah so what after that you need to you know do is uh, user so there's one more user is uh, natala ect to this user and to yourself you have to assign a, you know that public group what we just recently created so this user should have this public group assigned so this is what uh, first uh, this uh, you know uh, setup has been uh, first task challenge I would say uh, should be achieved by this this particular steps so if you do so you should be able to see if nothing you can uh, you know, reach out to me I recorded my uh, details and my information uh, where you can reach out to me on my youtube channel so fine now uh, uh, let's let's move on to second challenge so earlier I was thinking let's not make so this is the first video and I thought let's move Let's, let's give it a try and you know, help others if they want. So no other purpose I want. To. So this is achieved. So if you follow other steps, uh, it should be done. So yeah, so other step I have, I have, I have pretty much done the prequis for that also. So for that, uh, another steps what I need to do is I need to create a name credential as simple. Uh, this URL it's given in the docs, what they have given and uh, external credential you need to link yeah certificate is required so certificate you need to create here if you click new create certificate the name you have to give as per the you know given documentation yeah research call out self sign certificate you need to create uh, and if i yeah just name you need to give and last name since i have already created and the the years doesn't matter expiry doesn't matter so fine so these are the cell types so once you go there and go back to name credential and if you see here you need to see the you need you sh should be able to see the certificate to select in the drop down uh, so let's try it out uh, these are the pre requests so i have currently set it out the generate authors and authorization header and http headers so let's see what happens and if it was it or not Hopefully it should work. I think I will get uh, error because in Apex class we might have to make some changes. Headers of product incorrectly set on Apex class. Yeah. So this is this was expected there. So we need to fix a bit here. So you see here we are. We are specifically setting this header, so I think I can I can remove this and save this. And, uh, let's see if uh, I need to change a bit in in uh, headers. I'll just uncheck this one and save since we have to send in headers only. And let me see uh, my external credentials. And external credential looks good. Um, okay. Let me see if, if it's throws a little bit wrong. Okay, we can't find a name credential settings in credential. Uh, 
last week with scripted parts. Let's see. Good, we are getting errors. So good to go for sure. Yeah, so I need to make some changes here. Hey guys, so, so I got some issues uh, to stop the video, so I'm restarting. So in the last, uh, for the second challenge, you need to have your epic stars in everyone at this way and I will quickly just share uh, what main credential you need to have so this is the main credential and these are the settings you need to have for the main credential client certificate yeah you guys already have set up so external credential should be you know should be should be enabled and should be written expression like this to set the headers and uh, if you do that so your challenge uh, will be completed so i would request if you have any questions and query you can put it in a comment section and i'll i'll take a look and reply immediately and if any issue also let me know i can uh, i can immediately jump on and help you people the only motive of this video is just to help it out so that you can learn and not stuck and you know hit your heads the way i was having uh, issues uh, to complete this challenge so but i would again suggest try from your side first and where you get stuck just try to take a help from this video thanks thanks for watching bye bye